the Zionist agent Tommy Robinson is back in the news today. February 13th, 2019, headline out of RT, quote, F Palestine, I am king of the Islam race, Tommy Robinson declares in newly emerged video. Tommy Robinson, a far-right activist, real name Stephen Yaxley Lennon, is some um, footage has surfaced of far-right activist Tommy Robinson bragging about scoring drugs anywhere in the world. And he also said, uh, Robinson also claims to be a Zionist and insists that if there was a war between Israel and Palestine tomorrow, he would fight for Israel, adding F Palestine. Let's play the clip now. And then he, he just put out a response too, so we'll analyze his response as well. So here is the leak footage that's going around. Move over, cause me coming through, and this what me I'm gonna do. I'm gonna punch you in the head, I kick you in the face, cause I am the king of the whole Islam race. No matter where I've gone in the world, I He's score. Drunk. I'll He's show you tonight. Alcohol. As soon as we get in this pub, I'll, I'm gonna record it for you. I've gone to, f I've gone to Qatar, pub. I've gone to Doha. It's school gear of the sesh while they're all praying. I've gone everywhere, mate. Everywhere, every city I've gone to. When we went to Germany for the World Cup, I was like, see you later, lads. Where you going? I'm gonna find out. And then that's it, we're on. He's talking about being able to acquire illegal drugs in different places that he visits. So tonight, I mean, some shit out, knows where, but how have I ended up? I've ended up on the sesh. I've ended up, scoozy, what's this? Scoozy? Bro, do you know where this pub is? I've got the name of a pub. Can I get a taxi? So I had to bring Benjamin ne uh, Netum Black Palestine, I can't remember his name. And then I got my Zionist. Okay, so he doesn't even know Benjamin Netanyahu's name, but this guy has been saying he's a Zionist for years and years. And he, it just shows that he doesn't know anything that's really going on. So I had to bring Benjamin ne uh, Netan Black Palestine, I can't remember his name. Doesn't even know Benjamin Netanyahu's name. How much can this guy know? Talk about a useful idiot pawn of the Zionist. So I had to bring Benjamin ne uh, Netan Black Palestine, I can't remember his name. And then I got my Zionist card out, which said, I am a Zionist. And then I bought everything. Well, you didn't buy, you didn't buy nothing. Shalom, <laughs> uh, Harry, listen, listen, let me tell you something. Yeah? If there was a war tomorrow, which there will be, because I'll probably start at the end of the session. If there was a war and it kicked off, I would be there on the front line fighting for Israel. Do you know why? Why not? Pain. Why not? It's like Selwyn has some on our mate's dad's come up to me earlier talking about Selwyn. Like, oh yeah, but you're yeah, a Selwyn Ranger. So f you know what I mean? Palestine. F Palestine. Look, why would you support Palestine? Why would you support Palestine? Maybe because Russian Jew Soviet Jews showed up in Palestine and uh, kicked people out of their villages, and then now they say they're just defending themselves even though they stole their land, the Nakba. But now here's Tommy Robinson's response. This is him uh, trying to get himself out of trouble. Get sharing for my official response to the sun. <laughs> Come on. This is another moment, yeah? It's and everyone who knows me knows I'm not religious at all. In fact, I had a meeting this week with a bishop and they, and they said a prayer for me at the end. And at the end of that prayer, I said, they asked me, do I believe in, in Jesus? And I said, no, okay, because I'm not religious. And in this group message video that's fucking cut, I say the reason why I'd fight and die in a in battle for Israel is because Jews are the chosen children of God. I'm winding up my Asian mate and my other mate who are, it's just banter anyway. And whether you realistically think that I believe Jews are the chosen children of God and I'd die fighting that battle, and whether I believe it's just drunken banter. So he says he's not religious, and he's he said that uh, the Jews were God's chosen people, but that he doesn't really believe that. Yet he's been a Zionist and a Zionist agent for years and years and years. And uh, here's an interview of him saying where he's wearing a pin saying he's a Zionist a few years ago. I'm with Tommy Robinson of the EDL, based out of. England and Luton, actually, yeah, Luton, right? Luton, just north of London. Okay. I'm going to ask him a few questions. Right now, I noticed in your um, 
when you were when you were speaking up there, or the, your your co partner, I forget his name again, Kevin. Yep, Kevin. Um, he had mentioned that that you were the first group to fight Islam politically in England. Is that correct? Yeah, we're the first group to, to tackle it and to take to the streets against it. And we only took to the streets due to a, an inability by um, our political leaders and our political elite and our police forces to tackle this problem, to identify the problem. Um, we have more Muslim extremists now in Europe than ever in history. Okay. And it is, Islam's been trying to take over Europe for 1,400 years, and it's now closer than it ever has been. Isn't there other groups, though, like the National Front, the Front National, and the BNP, who's been fighting this for years? When you talk about fighting it for years, th those groups differ in, in many ways because those are just Nazis, backward, nothing. Have they not been fighting Islamification? They fight anything that's not white. So they don't, ta they, we, we are sole purpose that tackle is Islam. They tackle and they have a hatred for anything that's not white. It's not white. Were you, Were you part of the BNP at one time? I was part of the BNP in 2004. Were you part of the BNP at one time? I was part of the BNP in 2004. Were you part of the BNP at one time? I was part of the BNP in 2004. Okay. Now, I've got to ask you a couple tough questions here in order to be fair. Okay. <laughs> funding. How do you receive your funding? We have no funding. You have no funding? There's no funding. no funding? We have done everything we've done over three and a half years on £40,000, probably $50,000 um, that we've made through selling T-shirts. And that's over a three-year period? Over a three-year period. That's, that is basically no funding. That's, that's no funding, man. Trust me. That's no funding. We're, we, we've skinned ourselves from it. Uh, our members pay for we, we pay for everything ourselves. And if you look at what we've done and where we've come in three years, if we had funding, we'd finish Islam in Britain. Now, uh, i got another question for you. Yep. I noticed you're wearing a, a shirt that, or a, a button that says, I am a Zionist. Yep. What does a Zionist mean to you? Uh, what is a Zionist? Well, a Zionist is someone who believes in a homeland for Jewish people. I believe. Uh, I, my definition when I've looked at that in the dictionary is, it, is Israel first. It means Israel first? Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, be I believe in Israel's right to, right to exist. I believe in their right to defend themselves. I believe that the Jews have been persecuted. And when I, talk when I look at the Israeli thing, I look at it from my own point of view growing up in Luton Town. The main extremist is, you know the Stockholm bomber that we spoke about earlier? He was radicalised in the Luton Islamic Centre. The Luton Islamic Centre used to be the Jewish synagogue until they smashed it up, attacked it and drove them out of there. About six years ago, I was walking through Luton and I see some Orthodox rabbis. They had all these police around them walking. What's going on there? They're getting a police escort to walk through the streets of Luton. Now, this is year 2012 now in Britain and no one could wear a skull cap from one end of an Islamic area to the other. They wouldn't get out, get out of that area. So I see today that the Jewish people are persecuted, and I believe no one speaks up for them. Right. Well, you know, there's, there is a, a negative in, in connotation in a lot of realms about Zionism, about you know, international banking, about a lot of things like that. And since it does denote that it is Israel first, can you possibly serve two masters, meaning can you serve England and Israel at the same time? Yeah, my, my, my battle is on my homeland, is England. Listen, let me tell you something. Yeah. Okay, you hear that? Can you serve two masters? And uh, even though I don't agree that Zionism necessarily means Israel first, and I don't agree that it means just a homeland for the Jews either, uh, if you look at the people that, uh, that, that founded Israel and that started the whole messianic uh, Zionist movement, it was more than just the state. It's all about the end times prophecy. Israel is all about end times prophecy, rebuilding the temple, ruling the world with the Moshiach for eternity. But Tommy Robinson claims that his fight is here in his homeland, but his, his recent uh, leaked video says otherwise. Yeah, my, my, my battle is on my homeland, it's England. Listen, let me tell you something, yeah? If there was a war tomorrow, which there will be, because I'll probably start at the end of the session. If there was a war and it kicked off, I would be there on the front line fighting for Israel. So, he, fighting for Israel. He goes over to Israel, he wears a Mossad shirt proudly he stands in front of the IDF tanks with IDF soldiers hold holds uh, machine guns on the tanks he even comes out on Twitter and says that he is a Zionist working for Israel and there's a bunch of tweets here very, very interesting um, it says Richard Spencer says that Tommy Robinson is an authentic patriot willing to fight for his people I wish we had millions more like him that's suspect 
Kevin McDonald also says Tommy Robinson has balls, confronts Muslims, including women, defending child rapists. I can't believe all these guys are uh, supporting Tommy when he's clearly a Zionist. And look at what he says about all these alt-right uh, Richard Spencer people. He says if he lived in Charlottesville, uh, he'd come out in opposition to those Nazi pricks. That means you, Richard Spencer, marching through my town. That's what Tommy Robinson thinks. And that's not my endorsement of, uh, of Charlottesville either. But uh, here he is again. And um, with regards to the Zionists, Nick Griffin from the BNP, um, he made a recent video where all he went on about was that I am a Zionist. So this is pretty. This is humor as well. I've just, I've just put this. <laughs> so it's humorous. I've just put this picture on Twitter and, and directed it straight at Nick Griffin. Right. I said, "This one's just for you." <laughs> right. Well, you have a feud with Nick. Uh, I have a feud. Were you part of the BNP at one time? I was part of the BNP in 2004. Right. Well, joined. thank you for this interview, you. and. Um, from New York City on September 11th. I'm Jerry Dalton, Worldwide News Service. So Tommy Robinson started out in the BNP, which stands for the British National Party, but then uh, sometime around 2004, 2007, I guess he left and started the EDL, which is the English Defense League. And it's he did that with the help of Zionist organizations from the United States. Here's uh, the BNP's Nick Griffin explaining all this in a speech. And as you know, over the last couple of years, there's been an immense amount of effort thrown at this party and the key indi individuals in this party, at various local as well as national levels, to take us out of the field. <laughs> out of all the groups, the most important one by a mile was the English Defence League British Freedom Party. That was a serious, systematic, hugely funded effort by a section of the ruling elite by this Zionist neocon clique. So the Zionist neocon clique and the EDL and Tommy Robinson. To dominate, to simply take over nationalism and turn it into their tool to encourage the white working class to go and fight their wars and so that when the banking collapse comes, people are looking in the wrong direction instead of the real culprits. This party, we were approached. I was approached. We were offered money from the United States, and all they wanted was two things. They only wanted us to concentrate on Islam, and I yield to no one in my criticism of Islam and grooming. I put my neck on the line. Many of you have put your neck on the line as well. But it's not the only problem. And they wanted us only to focus on that, and it only came with one other thing. They wanted us to drop our criticism of the banking system. Those were the only two things. We had to concentrate on talking about Muslims and we had to drop our criticism of the international banking system. And I refused. And we refused. That was in about 2007. And all hell broke, lo broke loose really from that time when systematically they tried to take this party apart. And there's the self same people in groups, uh, various of the so-called Tory think tank groups and so on, things like policy exchange things like the Centre for Policy Studies, the self-same people who organised and ran Nothing British to devastate the BNP's electoral chances with lies in the sun and things like that, those self-same people were there right at the start conspiring to create the English Defence League, then the British Freedom Party, to take real nationalism in this country and break it on the wheel and then replace it by their puppet. And we stood up to that, we faced it down, We've exposed it and we've broken it. Their effort is broken and we are still here. We are nationalism. We're going to stay nationalism in this country. So Nick Griffin is talking about all the Zionist right wing, fake patriot, fake nationalist groups, media groups that I have here on this meme warning Zionist controlled opposition, fake patriot media. We got, uh, where is it, the rebel. This is where Tommy Robinson is out of, and not to mention he uh, you know, networks with all the rest of these Zionist media outlets. Uh, he formerly worked at Rebel Media for Ezra Levant. He says here that he's his Zionist company. He, re he refers to Rebel Media as a Zionist company. And he also says that uh, we're so, quote, Jewy over here, our critics call us, quote, again, Rabbi Media. Rabbi Media, that's where Tommy Robinson is from. This is a graphic from John Swin at theworldneedsthisman.blogspot.co.uk. 
And uh, you can see Tommy Robinson down here is a Shillman Fellow, works for Rebel Media, former leader of the EDL, regular InfoWars guest, connected here to Rebel Media, connected to Shillman, Robert Shillman, we'll get into him. We got Shillman here. So here's uh, The Guardian, U.S. right-wing group's bankroll campaign to free Tommy Robinson. It is uh, a right-wing American think tank that spent a five-figure sum on Tommy Robinson's legal defense has said it is aware of up to four other similar organizations bankrolling a high-profile campaign to release him. One of them is the Middle East Forum has paid for foreign speakers to attend free Tommy rallies in the UK, in addition to funding the far-right activist court defense. Uh, the Middle East Forum is one of them funding a pro-Israel group. And it talks here about how uh, Breitbart, which was founded in Israel with Andrew Breitbart, and the, the former CEO there was Steve Bannon, Trump's uh, campaign manager, and uh, who says that he's a proud Zionist as well. All these guys, all these kosher conservatives are all Zionist. And then next we have the independent Tommy Robinson, former EDL leader, holds secret gathering with Manchester Jews. Despite being accused of anti-Semitism, Mr. Robinson has declared his support for the Jewish people and Israel. He has long tried to curry favor with British Jews in his travel to Israel, declaring himself a, quote, Zionist. People actually think, I mean, this is a quote from Tommy, people actually think I'm a Jew. I've, got, I've gone full 360 over the last eight years from people thinking I hate do, Jews to people thinking I am a Jew. And here's the graph again with uh, Tommy Robinson connected to Pamela Geller, Horowitz, Shillman, Rebel, the whole matrix. Okay, now we'll go back to Nick Griffin and his, oh wait, no, we're not done here, sorry. We're going to, uh, that was the independent. Now we're going to do Vice News, Follow the Money. It's about Ezra Levant and Rebel Media. Rebel lives on, quote, mega donors who underwrite their operation. Let's see what else I have here. They had the whole scandal with Colin Robertson. All the, all the media people out of, out of uh, Ezra Levant's little Canadian uh, kosher conservative, Israel First Media, Faith Goldie, uh, Jack Posobiec. Lauren Southern, Laura Loomer, all the usual suspects. Laura Loomer and UK host Tommy Robinson are listed on the website as Shillman Fellows. The fellowship run by tech billionaire Robert Shillman has put money towards media personalities who tout an anti-Islam line and a pro-Israel line. The fellowship is run through David Horowitz Freedom Center. Also, the Middle East Forum, which works with the Shillman Fellowship, donated to Ezra Levon of Rebel Media himself, from a two million education fund. And Robert Shillman, he's a, the billionaire. Here he is with his statue in Israel at the Technion Israel Institute of Technology. He's a complete Israel firster. Here's Tommy Robinson, Shillman Fellow, right here on, on Rebel Media, funded by Zionist billionaires, just like uh, the BMP and Nick Griffin said. And one more, we got the forward. Meet Robert Shillman, the tech mogul who funds Pamela Geller's anti-Islam push, as well as Horowitz and uh, Tommy Robinson. So now uh, they've had a little bit of back and forth, the EDL and the BMP. We're going to finish it off with Nick Griffin talking about his uh, debate challenge or feud with Tommy Robinson. I believe Tommy when he complains that the Zionist billionaires who fund Pam Geller, Robert Spencer, James Poe going. Chris Knowles and various other people he works with aren't paying his mortgage. Of course they wouldn't. They don't give a damn about working class Brits like Tommy. To them, Stephen Lennon is just another stupid guy to be manipulated, used, then tossed aside when he's done what they want, which is to wind up Britain's you Muslim hear that? communists. Just, into just another stupid guy. He's been used. He's been used as a pawn. Sorry, I'm just turning up the volume a little bit more so you guys can hear it. ...into behaving even more badly than they otherwise would. Because the Zionists and neocons want young Brits to hate them so much that they queue up to go fight in their wars for oil and greater Israel. Tommy challenges me to provide evidence of Zionist billionaires funding the EDL. By the very nature, it's impossible to provide evidence of something like that. I'm not going to be given the bag that the gold came in, am I? So, I don't know. But what I do know 
is that Tommy deliberately avoids answering the questions raised by the clearly identifiable, verifiable facts in my booklet, What Lies Behind the English Defence League. He doesn't want, I think, to admit that people have been trying to use him as a tool to manipulate the white working class. It's not in the interests of Britain to have its nationalist street movement manipulated by people who dragged us into war in Iraq, into war in Afghanistan and into the bombing of Libya. People who are now trying to do the same to get us involved in Syria. The people who put the whole of North Africa into the hands of the Muslim Brotherhood, just so the Zionist lobby can then claim that Israel is the only reliable friend the West has in the Middle East. Frank Gaffney, who finances and runs the pro-Zionist counter-jihad groups that give Tommy his platforms in Brussels, Stockholm and just the other day in New York, is a close associate of Dick Cheney, boss of the giant American company Halliburton. These capitalist vultures make billions, billions literally, every time they manage to manipulate public opinion into accepting another one of their wicked bloody wars. They make fortunes on the broken backs of our dead soldiers and out of our taxes. Financed by the same people who pay for the war propaganda videos put out, put out by the EDL Jewish division's James Cohen and run by people with whom Tommy and Paul Weston share speaking platforms want to see us dragged into the endless series of wars they call the Clash of Civilizations. Their wars will be fought with our boys blood and with our taxes and will lead to bombs in our streets. That's why it matters that these people are, manip are manipulating Tommy. Because we don't need a clash of civilizations. We just want Islam out of Britain and British troops out of those fly-blown Muslim deserts. That's why it matters that Tommy is being guided by people like Pam Geller of Atlas Shrugged. Yes, she's great on Islam, but she's also a fanatical advocate of the rights of big business and especially the banks to screw everybody else. And she regards Israel as the most important country on the planet. Well, I think that's fine and natural for Jews to think that if they want. But I think that Britain is the best country on the planet and I don't see why we should go fighting other people's bloody wars. Tommy, you can't hide from these questions or from any of the others raised by this document by attacking everyone asking for answers as a vulture or a Nazi. Facts don't have political persuasions, they're just facts and concerns about them are the real concerns of real Englishmen. Cut all links with the Zionists, the neocons and the militant gay lobby who have no place in a movement like ours based on the values of family and tradition. Make it clear that the English Defence League is only interested in defending our country, our freedoms, our heritage and our children and that it will not be manipulated by outsiders or big business lobbyists because Britons should fight for Britain only. Britons and Americans should fight for Americans only. No more of these uh, kosher conservatives touting the American uh, American line as a Zionist line, the Zionist cause as an American one, as written in Michael Collins Piper's book, Judas Goats. Tommy Robinson is a Judas goat leading us to the slaughter. He is controlled opposition, touting the conservative and traditional American or British ranks in line touting the Zionist cause as an American one, a cause that is fully in line with not just making America great again, but in reality making America an empire and one that is ruled by the Zionist elite. That's exactly what's happening. It's exactly what's going on. And I just want to finish up. Z uh, Tommy Robinson has always been an open Zionist. Uh, all these Zionists are, yet when the Zionists were attacking me to get me suspended from Twitter uh, a couple weeks ago, one of them here, Mindy Robinson, collected a bunch of my tweets and said, anti-Semitic much? Imagine being this unhinged. And um, you can see one of the tweets she has here is where I said, you see how Tommy Robinson is a Zionist agent, right? She considers that unhinged. This is unhinged to call Tommy Robinson and Jerome Corsi uh, Zionist when they're proud Zionist, when they wear Mossad shirts, when they're funded by Zionist organizations. It's, it's incredible. And I responded and said, imagine being so unhinged you think Corsi, Tom and Robinson and Cernovich aren't proud Zionist. And that was enough. This was one of the tweets that got me suspended. This is the one that Twitter showed me and said, you're suspended because of this tweet, this hate speech. Just repeating what she said back 
with the truth that Tommy Robinson is a Zionist. And then here's the guy that uh, flagged my tweets. He says, Adam Green is upset that I flagged a bunch of his anti-Semitic tweets. Yeah, it's anti-Semitic to call Tommy Robinson a proud Zionist, a Zionist. It's, 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 you can't even use the Zionist word anymore. It's considered hate speech, even though it's the Zionist state and they say they're Zionist all the time. Just like the, now the new normal is, you can't even say APEC has any influence without Trump calling for your resignation and both of the media screaming about anti-Semitism. So, um... And he says, don't come at me with anti-Semitic attacks unless you want the same thing to happen to you. What a big tough guy that just does a bunch of censorship. So tough. So that's all for this video. Tommy Robinson is a Zionist agent. I'm Adam Green with no more news. See you in the next video.